you got to understand that people come into fitness with these behaviors and beliefs that are not necessarily always their fault. It's a social construct now. It's a, uh, it's a belief deep inside of generations that uh, movement is a fix and exercise is a fix. Most people do believe that they're either going to look good naked, increase energy, or get out of pain, but a real desirable need to fix something. Their intentions around fitness are probably pretty good, but they have this preconceived notion that fitness is a fix. You know, as a coach, you need to then say, well, um, is, it, there, is there any utility in my coaching if I'm basically just giving them what they want, and when really they're having no concept as to what we believe the ideal is in fitness? Really have an ideal uh, of what a good lifestyle and a, a great exercise, a consistent program looks like. We must have some plan of an ideal uh, of what a nutrition plan looks like. So we have to come back to some form which what OPEX calls basic lifestyle guidelines um, as the base support and we have to truly believe in them and that's what sets the tone for educating people on what they actually need versus what they want to have. I'm very empathetic to the coach who has to deal with that. Uh, the technician wants to have clients and they want to have experiences but they know with principles deep in their heart and soul that the client is probably asking to do fitness for the wrong reasons with the wrong intent. And the issue there is just that you, you need to take time to get that across to the client. What you need to be able to do is to fix this area between needs and wants, but then it has to go through conversation and education. And the coach has to have conversation with them on what they ideally should be striving towards in fitness as opposed to what they want. Because if, if you only have 15 minutes, there's no possible way you're going to change a person's behaviors that they've had in their brain for 30 plus years to get them educated enough to, to make sense of like, yeah, you know what, I really should drink water and not exercise as much and get some sunshine and, and chew my food. But if you give that prescription with some education, um, then it's going to help you crack that code of, of breaking the need versus want. It takes a real good conversation in order to transform that person's perspective on recognizing that uh, um, they need to have a certain specific you know, personalized plan as opposed to just wanting something.